Welcome back, folks. This is Bill Two Real here, and you're watching Sonic Mania Part Three. So, because I uh, didn't go all the way around the loop to loop, I got into a little bit of a glitch here. But luckily, if you go to the left here, it'll reset the sequence, and you can go right. Uh, I don't know exactly what caused that to happen, but my battery's in. This was my favorite zone from Sonic Three and Knuckles. Ice Cap Zone was a very, 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 very close second. And this is also. Uh, Falling Battery Zone is also one of those acts that has one of my favorite, favorite, favorite tracks in the entire Sonic series. Uh, Ice Cap Zone is a very, 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 very close second to that as well in Sonic 3 Knuckles. And yeah, so the very beginning of the zone is pretty much copy and paste of the original one, except for maybe like right here. I don't remember this being here, but yeah, get the Fire Shield. The fire Shield and Electric Shield are going to be your very, very best friend. In this zone, fire shield will make the flamethrowers absolutely useless. But whatever you do, do not fireball dash through here, or else you're gonna fall off the map and die. So everything below us is a bomb's pit. Why tell the side to commit hard carrier there? I don't know. Jump in a little net here, you'll take you to the right. The propellers will send you to the right. Luckily, I learned in this one part not to go after the blue ring because I probably would have died and not just gotten hit. But yeah, so. Go up here, this is also from the original Flying Battery Zone. It's going to change up just a little bit here. We're going to get a Lightning Shield, I believe, right here, yes. But unfortunately, I'm not going to hold it for very long. But the Lightning Shield will act as a magnet towards those electrified floors. Right here is where I lose it. I should have just ran and jumped instead of trying to tiptoe and double jump over. I don't have enough momentum, mo momentum to carry us over there. The little capsules here can contain rings, bad nicks. Uh, and sometimes the animals, I think, but majority of the time it's just rings and bad nicks. Also, if I had the lightning shield here at the very end of this propeller sequence, you um, wait for me to get there. But yeah, if you jump and hold left or right, it'll launch in that direction. But right there, that little lightning floor, if you had the lightning shield, it would take you to a little bit of a hidden pathway to get some extra goodies up the top left. Of course, I don't have it, but I'm going to take my time here. And then we're going to go into the little bonus stage of Sonic Mania, which is the Blue Fear bonus special stages from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And this, I believe, is the third one. Yeah, this is the third one. So, uh, the name of the game is just get all blue spheres. The top left is the counter for how many blue spheres you got. The top right counter is how many rings are left in the level. And the way you get rings are as follows. There can be rings on the map already, which... They're not that many. Most of the rings are going to see me get this way. So I have this big box of blue spheres. And if you create a ring of red around the perimeter, then the red rings and the red rings, the red balls, and then the blue spheres that are still contained inside are going to turn into rings, as you see right there. And so just make sure you have a perimeter going in and you will make all the spheres go away before you hit the red orb. So take your time here. Well, not exactly take your time here because the longer you take, the more this level speeds up. And the faster you get to speed up, you better have good reflexes. Um, if you play the first 14 special stages for Sonic 3 and Knuckles, then you have a good idea what to expect here. It shouldn't catch you off guard. And so, if you get all the blue spheres without getting all the rings, you'll get a silver medallion. If you collect all the rings and perfect the level, then you will get a gold medallion right here. I goofed up. It was the next set of blue orbs I needed to jump over to get a perfect. So uh, time your jump well there, and you'll clear two or, or two, I guess, units of distance very easily. And of course, I get a perfect right here. Get the last blue orb, and then all the everything will lift off the stage, and you'll be rewarded with a medallion. And in my case, a gold medallion. And medallions are used to get special abilities. Like uh, the Sonic CD peel out, I believe there is the drop dash, I believe, that's introduced in here. And I won't say there's like one more, I'm not thinking. And then you unlock Knuckles as a companion instead of Tails, I believe. And then, I'll say there's like one more thing, but I don't ever get the medallions. I'm, when I play this game, I'm just speed running it through. Right here I get the lightning shield, and you want to hold on to the lightning shield here, especially in Act 1, until the boss, because it will make the boss in this first act a little joke. Otherwise, you will have to beat it the normal way, which can take a bit. It's doable, of course, otherwise you wouldn't be able to beat it. <laughs> but 
But yeah, so here I should just jump, but I just R him, and I almost pay for it right here. So get on the little monkey bar here. At least that's what I think it is, or a hook, whatever it is. But to me, it's a monkey bar. But get on the side of the spike. Don't jump into the spike that tells it. And sometimes I notice the spikes here are aesthetically a little bit differently than the other spikes. They kind of move and wiggle right here. I'm sure that spider blueprint won't come into place. So Eggman's gonna be like, ha ha ha, Sonic, I'm gonna kill you. But of course, we have the lightning shield to knock this boss out. But as you see here, if you take a while, the seal, not the ceiling, the sides will close together and make the floor lift, so you'll be able to hit the magnet, Badnik Resurrector, six times and you'll knock it out. But the lightning shield, you can double jump up there really, really easily. And what's funny here is all Eggman had to do was just not put those grabby claws underneath the compressor, trash compactor, whatever it is. And you would never have to worry about Sonic again, but, you know, Eggman being Eggman, he needs Sonic CN to his Yang and, you know, etc. Can't live without him, just like Joker can't live without Batman, because, you know, Eggman, I'm on Sonic. But, I digress. So, yeah, so right here, you got two options. You can go up or down. At first, I decided to go up, but then I was like, you know what, I don't ever go down that much. So I want to go down to the trash and just fall straight through. You'll be okay. You go out, and then the... Day section is now a stormy section or a night section, whichever one. But if I had gone left there instead of going right, there's a ring, a giant ring that she could have gotten, that I could have gotten, or you could get if you play this game. So you can get one more shot again the Chaos Emeralds. But luckily we have all the Chaos Emeralds, so we don't have to worry about that. And again, this part take your time because right here, if you don't have the lightning shield, you're very liable to get electrocuted by those electrodes. If you have the electric shield and you don't have to worry about getting electrocuted, you can just hit the electrodes and it'll knock out a section of the grid. Knock out the pilot as I did there. they will fall off and then the entire grid is disabled. So go right here. And we have the chicken bots from Flying Fortress Zone in Sonic 2. I believe it's this Flying Fortress. The chickens are not really a threat. If you have the shield, their projectiles will bounce off you. But yeah, this Act 2 zone... Uh, the music is one of my favorites, absolutely. It still is one of my favorites, but the best track of the game is not going to go to Flying Battery Zone Act 2. It's going to go to Act 2 of another level from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And right there, I should have just went right. I don't know why I went left. I just saw rings. I was like, oh, I got to get rings. But, and then I almost cost myself all my rings right here. I want that invincibility, but then, you know... I decided not to uh, obey caution, and I'm over here thinking, well, if I bop it with tails, will it not come down? The answer is no, as you saw there. So go through the door, you get launched outside, and this gimmick is new to find batteries on Act 2. If you go through the door, you'll be transported to the outside section. If you're outside, you'll go inside. So it's really, really nice. Neat. And then here, I'm going to rage a little bit uh, over myself, because like an idiot, I should have just went... Well, like an idiot, I went right. I was about to say like an idiot, I went left, but no, that would have been a smart thing to do. If I had gone, if you were Knuckles, you would go up here, or if you were Tails by yourself, you could go up there, but Sonic can't do it, because he's, you know, there's too much, there's not enough room to maneuver with, uh, with Sonic and Tails. So, go left here, and then, of course, I have no shield, so, of course, I'm going to be extremely careful, I'm sure, probably not. Uh, jump off the hook right there, and then you'll go into the big ring there and that net me another 50 rings or if you need another attempt for a chaos emerald there you go so we're gonna go right we're gonna follow the path of rings and then we're gonna go right and this right here is one of my favorite sections but I done goof it because I decided to jump not right here uh come on Sonic no it's not yet so we're gonna go right here around get launched down go back up we're gonna go to the left go back down Get caught by a net. We go back down, go through the door, go back inside. And then our little contraption there is going to take us over to spikes. We're just going to go right. Let the little sequence guide you. You're not going to get hurt if you just spin dash through it. And then those mouse bots are really more of a nuisance than anything. I think the only other enemy I haven't talked about was the cannon bot from Act 1, where it looks like a giant like mortar cannon. It just shoots a bullet and that's it. But he's kind of useless too. If you have a shield, then the projectiles bounce off. You can spin dash into those as well. But take your time here. Just follow the propellers up into a path of rings. You won't automatically launch. You would think that would happen, but it doesn't. So 
Sonic will only launch when you tell him to. So hold on direction, press jump, and Sonic will launch. He'll only launch when you press the jump button. So don't worry about, you know, having to hurry. So just take your time. Monkey bar is here, go to the right. And then it's going to take you back down. Jump on the little platform over the platform there, and it'll hover you to the propellers. And again, don't hit those blades on propellers, they will hurt. This is the sequence I'm talking about. I should have just let it carry me because this is one of my favorite sequences. I've done goop speed right there, but I like it because it's super fast, it's super quick, and it's one of those things like, you know, I like to imagine that in the 3D version in my mind and how that would look, and I bet you that would look phenomenal. Phenomenal! But, yeah, so wait for the platform to go up, jump on top of these before those little spike balls fall down, and we're at our boss for the flying batteries, in which this boss is kind of a joke because for one thing it's a giant star from a Yu-Gi-Oh card. If you played Yu-Gi-Oh, you know what I mean by looking at the card. And for a level 1 monster, it's going to kill me. Uh, or I guess I should say I'm going to kill myself. But you're going to get on the, the little propellers here and launch it, hit it into the spikes. But it cannot hurt you at all. As you can see there, I knocked it down into me and it did not hurt. It's only going to hurt you when it, you let the spider bot climb all the way to the top and it's going to shoot some lightning at me. But right here is where I kill myself. I decided to risk it for the brisket right there. And I tried to jump and hit it. But... I killed myself, and Tails died too right there. But right here, this is what I was talking about. Uh, three lightning orbs, and I get hit by the slowest lightning orbs in the whole world. Embarrassing, I know. But yeah, if you spin dash and jump, you can carry enough momentum to knock Robotnik into the spikes, but you know that carries the risk of dying as I demonstrate right there. And you can still hurt yourself after you kill the boss, so make sure you have a ring if you're going to do it like I just did right there. So now, Hit the capsule, we'll be treated to our score, and then we're going to go and transition into Garden Press Zone Act 1. And the transition is a bit bittersweet sweet for me. I like I like that right there, the hang glider from Sonic 2 and the Game Gear version, but I absolutely hate that game. It's not one of my favorite games in the whole wide world, but if I ever do play it, which I don't think I ever will, um, the hang glider section is one of my favorite sections in that game. One of the very few sections of that game that I like. Anyways, Garden Press Zone. You're in a printing press uh, in a winter wonderland of sorts. You wouldn't know that until after you beat the first act. The conveyor, belt, the conveyor belts there act as a sort of spring. So you'll keep bouncing lightly, but when you actually hold and pre press and hold the jump button, not necessarily in that order, you'll launch really high. And then these little carousels. If you stand towards the edge, you'll get a little bit more speed. I believe those are from uh, Sky Sanctuary Zone in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. So they kind of reuse some assets here, and it's nice. So if you played the games before, you know how to kind of react to these. But, and then you go on this bigger, I guess, conveyor belt from. Uh, what's the name of the zone? Uh, it's the last zone from Sonic 3 bait, uh, Vanilla. Uh, launch Base Zone, there we go. But, yeah. So, when you're on this press, you want to get out as soon as possible. And sometimes when it presses all the way together and you're out of the way, you open up an upper path, but you're not going to see me do that in this playthrough. But in some areas, you have that. Right here, I'm going to goof. I'm not going to get that top path because, you know, you know, I'm a big goof. <laughs> um, so, take your time here. You don't want to fall and hit something. So, it's going to carry back into one of these presses. You know, because Garden Press Zone. I'm sure that's not what it's talking about when they talk about press. It's probably talking about newspaper press. But, you know, each, you know, press is subjective. So, I goof right there. Use the conveyor belt to get, 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 get up to that switch here. Switch there and hit it. Knock it out so you open a path. Then we're going to... We're going to jump very carefully on these blocks. Then we're going to hit that enemy that's from uh, Mushroom Hill Zone. Take your time here, but also be very timely. Go up here, we'll launch ourselves back up here. I like to hit those red ring, uh, rings, red springs when possible. I guess there is ring and spring, so I guess I'm not completely wrong, right? So, go here. And this would have been a very excellent time to use Supersonic, but I'm not going to use Supersonic at all this entire playthrough. Be careful with the spikes. Thankfully, I don't hit them. It's a miracle. Let's play curses. 
I to rear its ugly head when I'm playing. So, you have to actually use the conveyor belt and knock that little switch there. You can't just touch it. So, poop, pop, and then we're gonna go back up. And then I don't have enough momentum to carry me that jump. And then right here, I'm thinking there's something special here, but there's really not. So, it's a dud. It's a zonk. So, let's try this again. Go back up. Get on the platform. Run. Get a little bit of momentum. Get up here. Get back on the carousel. Wait for that top one. A top one. That top platform to come down a little bit. Get on this platform. Go up. I'm going to choose to go right. Not go. Well, no. We're going to have to go up. But get the fire shield here. This is going to be a little bit useful for the boss. And it's also going to be useful for the second act. But I'm not going to hold it for very long. Second act of memory serves. So. We keep the shield. We'll have a little bit of an edge on the boss on this is that, uh, act. So, go down here. Just let it, let it carry you in the sequence. You can drop down to the lower section there if you want, but I'm going to choose to stay up top. So, if you hold down, this is very, very reminiscent of Sandopolis Zone Act 2 inside the pyramid. So, just let it carry you. Uh, but unlike Sandopolis Zone, there, you know, there's not a special jump off point to end the loop. It's just going to end on its own. So, this chainsaw bot uh we're gonna call it blade and we're not talking about wesley snipe blade we're talking about just you know saw blade blade so we're gonna go and wait for it to attack one of these wooden boxes it will knock out the saw blade and you'll get enough time to hit two times and then if you're careful you can jump over the blade when it launches and then fire dash into it as i'm doing as i'm demonstrating which i don't know how i didn't mess this up going as how bad I've been playing this but I'm gonna beat this sub boss without di uh, dying or getting hit for that match so one and then two it blows itself up and it takes out all the boxes and takes out the building now we're great to act two of ground press zone and this is I would say it's I'm not gonna say it's my favorite of the original zones or acts I guess but it's definitely up there because it reminds me most definitely of Ice Cap Zone Act 2 because it's outside, there's snow, the soccer blossoms make it really pretty, and the music is a lot, lot better than Act 1. You get that nice oriental theme, and I just love it. I love the flute. So, we're going to go through here, and if you see there, the fire show will destroy these ice spikes. Unfortunately, I will not hold it for very long, but, you know, I'm glad I can at least showcase that. So those boxes you can box with those ice cubes you can jump on top of them and break them and you want to be very careful because sometimes they might have spikes or they might have robotnik monitors and if you didn't have a fire shield you can get one right here but right here i'm going to lose it when we get to a little freezing uh freeze breath things freeze spray things but right here we're going to go in this little wood chipper and i'm going to jump into the uh, freeze and I shouldn't have done that. I should have just carried myself down, but like a dum dum, I got a little bit greedy. So jump off there, don't get crushed. Take a little crab bots here. Um, I didn't talk very much about them. They will throw a chainsaw blade to one another in hopes that you'll just jump into it. But if you're very careful, you can time your jumps appropriately and knock them both out very easily. So the sequence. Are the thing about Garden Press Zone Act 2 is there's a lot of scripted sequence and what I mean by that is you're speeding through a section and you have almost no control it's just going to do its thing. So right here I should have just ignored it because right here I'm kind of stuck and I should have just jumped in the middle ice cubes and hit the, froze, the frozen spring right there or the ice spring and launch myself back up to safety but I did got greedy right here got greedy again because if I didn't hit that invincibility I would have lost all my rings there again. But luckily I got my invincibility, I got my speed boost, so we're going to go through this a really, 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 really quickly. So, if you knock the bottom, the bottom ice cube out of the way, you will break all, well, you'll release all those ice cubes. And luckily I had my invincibility there when I hit that Robotnik EV, otherwise I would have taken some damage. So, what I should have done is I should have let that uh, wood shaper carry me all the way down to get on the spring but I want to talk a little bit about the elemental shields right here because I know there's a water one there to the left I'm not going to get but 
Well, I guess not the shields, but the items. So the televisions will have quite a bit. You'll have the ring boxes, which count as 10. You'll have the blue ring box, which I don't like because it's just bad luck. When you take a hit, you'll be given the opportunity to get more rings that you normally wouldn't have gotten when you got hit. You have the shields, which are normal blue, which don't do anything special unless you take a hit without taking any damage. You have the water shield that lets you breathe underwater. Uh, you get a little bit of a bounce jump. Fire shield will let you burn through ice, and it also lets you take fire damage without getting hit. Uh, you'll get the fire dash as well. Lightning shield, my favorite. You get a double jump. Flying battery zone, you'll magnetize to the floor. Um, you can take lightning damage without getting hurt. Uh, the one-up boxes with Sonic's heads. You can uh, hit it, and then you'll get an extra life. But I might be forgetting a few, but uh, Heavy Ninja, I'm going to beat it here really quickly. I get very lucky here. Oop, one, and then two. So, uh, let me talk a little bit quickly about how to beat it. Uh, he'll drop down, and then he'll whack you if you get really close. And I don't think it necessarily hurts you, it just knocks you back. Uh, but you're supposed to jump into him when he jumps. But when he's jumping, he'll throw ninja stars out, so you just gotta be careful about that. And when you stun him, after you jump into him, you can start whacking him for some damage. And after 8 or 6 hits, you'll knock him out. And there, we're gonna be greeted to our next zone. Which is going to be my one of my favorite favorite zones in Sonic CD. So, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Later, bye.